Hi, I'm Tom and this is Adult Game Reviews. I'm bringing back my most controversial list from last year with some tweaks. The first tweak is I'm focusing on visual novels in this particular list. The second is I'm taking into account ratings and peak players and the number of reviews. Unfortunately, games like Sinner's Landing and having a hard time didn't make the list because they had so few reviews. So for all the games that didn't have high reviews or with names that I couldn't put on YouTube. Oh, just so you know, it's not me, it's you. Luckily, there was only one game that didn't make the list because of the name. I will put that on my Patreon or subscribe star so you can see that over there. Also, for whatever reason, YouTube hates when I make Steam compilations. My videos get demonetized for just simply having a Steam link in the description. So you can check out all the links on my Patreon or subscribe star. And it's likely that I'm not gonna be able to monetize this list. So if you're interested in leaving a tip, you can hit the thanks button underneath the video. Any amount is appreciated. Or you can check out the Adult Game Reviews Patreon or subscribe star. Check the link tree down below for all those links. So based on all the data, I was only able to get the top eight games. All the other games didn't quite meet the criteria. So let's get into it. Let's start with number eight, The Symbiont Reunion by Hardcore Dev. This is the follow-up to the insanely successful visual novel, The Symbiont. This is a male-male focused VN that focuses on Danya and Ravi's relationship. If you love The Symbiont, The Symbiont Reunion continues the story. It kind of looks like The Symbiont Reunion is good, but not as good as the original. It sits at an 83% very positive rating on Steam, and it's available on PC, Mac, and Android. Number seven, Dusk Pub by Yellow Duck Works. It takes a lot of hard work to make a pub work, but you do get some perks. You meet a variety of cute girls and recruit them as Servers. There are mini games and you can level up the girl's abilities to help you with the bar. It's sitting at about 300 very positive reviews. If you want any of the H content or romance scenes, you will need to download the extra patch to unlock that. Dusk Pub seems relatively short. I'm not sure if it's good, but I do like the concept. If you have played it, let me know if there's actually a fun game there or just pretty looking with bad translations. Right now, it only looks like it's on Windows, but correct me if I'm wrong down below. Number six, Guardians of Eden by Black Cat Entertainment. It's labeled as a tower defense visual novel. However, it seems more visual novel than tower defense. You have a variety of love interests that you can level up. The artwork looks good and it's leaning more into that H style. I mean, there's an owl girl. I don't know. I think I could be into this. <laughs> yeah. It's sitting at over 350 very positive reviews. So this could be legit if you like oversized body parts and tower defense. Right now, I think it's only on Windows. Number five, Humans Are Not That Against Lizard Women by Hugh Access Entertainment. This one surprised me because the translations look suspect. I mean, look at the name. So what about this game could make it have close to 1,000 very positive reviews? Could it be bots? I mean, maybe, but oh yeah, no, you know what? I see why. The artwork is fantastic. So if you're into Lizard Women, I'm not sure you can find a better looking one on here. There are many games and I guess there's a story. Lizard women descend upon the land and it's your job to repel them. Not sure why you would want to, but it looks like right now that humans are not that against lizard women is only on Windows. Number four, Love and Life, Lucky Teacher by Reborn Entertainment. With a lot of these Chinese VNs, I tend to look at them sideways. If you're on my Patreon, you know that the Chinese puzzle games are pumped out faster than all the shit sports games that come out every year. However, based on the data, it sits at four. After the pandemic, you lost your job as a space aviation expert. So instead, you become a teacher in a small town. You help the girls learn and grow with your new job. There are a lot of little mini games, but it does seem grindy. Right now it sits over 700 reviews and they were overwhelmingly positive, with the most recent being very positive. There's a DLC for any romantic content, if you know what I mean. So all in all, it might not be a cheap pile of crap like so many others, I guess we'll see. And Love and Life Lucky Teacher is available on Windows. Number three, we have the Genesis Order by NLT Media. I have yet to jump into this one after it was fully released, but I really want to. All of the NLT games tend to have a good amount of content. And if you aren't familiar, you play a young detective investigating a cult. If you played any of the NLT Media's previous games, you may see some familiar faces. It's currently sitting at over 1,000 very positive reviews. From my time playing the Genesis Order in Early Access, I actually like the Genesis Order more than Treasure and Nadia, but we'll see if that's still the case after I play the full version. You can get the Genesis Order on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. Number two, Living with Sister Monochrome Fantasy by Kagura Games. Your father goes off on an adventure and it's up to you to take care of your sick sister. How you treat her is up to you. The first thing that stands out is it looks like a black and white manga. I think the visuals are gorgeous. It's sitting at over 3,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews. It has turn-based combat and some H scenes. This one looks so good that I may want to play it. Right now, you can get it on Windows. Okay, we made it to number one. But first, if you like the video, please like it and comment down below if you've played any of these. All right, number one, Winter Memories by Doji no Tomi, which was by far the top game in 2024 so far. The follow-up of the hugely popular Summer Memories. There's so much going on here. I love the story of Summer Memories, but it was a little too grindy for my personal taste. However, if you like Summer Memories, 
memories, then you should play Winter Memories. Yui, Ryo, and Miyuki are back with the change of seasons and a new story. Winter Memories has over 5,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, which is crazy. There are a variety of mini games, and the art looks even better than the original Summer Memories. Right now, you can get Winter Memories on PC and Mac, but just like all of these games, I'm thinking eventually they're going to end up coming to iOS and Android, but don't quote me on that. So my fear is that some of these reviews are inflated due to bots. I mean, I can't help that. But if any of these games sounded good, awesome. Hopefully you have a place to start. If not, that's okay. Let me know if you played any of these down below. I want to thank all my patrons. And if you haven't seen my video of Between Two Worlds, you can check that out right here. Thanks again. Until next time.